Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a little at home type vlog as I normally do on Thursdays where we catch up, we go through a few bits. I really wanted to plant my new in Aldi bee bombs, which I picked up a few days ago within my garden. So I thought we could do that together. That'll be really fun. And obviously I'm in a new setup right now. I want to try out a new skincare, which I'll take you through in a bit. Um, so that will be fun. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I really hope it's not echoey. We are in my bathroom, which gets a little bit echoey. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you're all well. I hope your week is going well so far. Nearly the weekend. How exciting. We've got no makeup on. We've got the Mickey Mouse headband and um, just an old top. So <laughs> I'm feeling glam. Anyway, let's get into today's video. Chat below because I always get back to you and yeah let's go okay so as you know i'm a huge fan of glossy box and i'm really excited to say they are sponsoring this part of today's video which i'm so excited about because i'm a huge advocate of glossy box i really like the team really great girls and i love their products i love the things they send you i personally feel they're very very good value for money if you are going to sign up to a subscription box i personally think I get the most for my money. They've actually sent me some of their new skincare range. I think they have around 10 plus products. So this is a skincare box. It's their facial skincare box. It's called the Ready Set Glow. Completely cruelty free and vegan, which is really, really important to me. Also very economically friendly. You know, I love to be environmental. So they're very, it's a very environmental products, packaging. I'm excited to try it. Never actually tried Glossy Box's skincare, actual skincare, which is really exciting. So there's three products in here. We've got the exfoliating clay rub, which I believe you use first. Then we have the hydrating mist, which I believe you use second. And then you have the three in one moisturizer. So that's kind of how the process goes. So I'm gonna scrub my face with the clay scrub first. Um, clay scrub just sounds so nice. Since being pregnant, I have really, really dry skin to be honest. I did go through a stage where it was very, very spotty and now it's just very, very dry. So fingers crossed it helps with the dry, dryness. I have to say skincare has always scared me a little bit. Every time I watch a skincare video, Everyone uses different products, methods. Some people use 50 products, some people use two. And I just, I always get confused on what to use. But now I've got to the point where less is better, basically. And that's why I kind of really like this box. Um, Cause already it's just giving you three products and that's your skincare done. So it's not complicating things, which we like. We really like that. Use this code here. Um, you can get this box and they'll give you a free three-in-one moisturizer as well. Um, I'll put all the details on the screen and down below and my link down below. So get yourself a freebie. So as I said, use the exfoliating clay scrub first. Apparently this deeply cleanses and restores radiance. That's what we need. I'm not feeling very radiant at nearly nine months pregnant. It helps buff away dead skin. Apparently just massage into your face with your hands, an almond size amount onto damp skin, focusing on your nose and T-zone, massage into sensitive skin for 30 to 40 seconds, or normal skin for 60 seconds, leave on for 10 minutes to use as a mask, and rinse with lukewarm water. So, it is also a mask. We like that. Ooh. Probably a little bit bigger than an almond, but we'll go with that. It has a really nice smell. I don't know what it is, but it's a good smell. I definitely could have used much less. There's actually quite a lot of product there, um, which is good because obviously a little bit goes a long way. This would be a really nice present to get your girlfriends when um, we can have like little girly sleepovers again. <laughs> Can't wait to have my friends over. A nice little girly sleepover. Maybe we'll get matching PJs. Okay, I think that's been rubbed in enough. Now we leave this for 10 minutes and then we'll wash it off with warm water and we'll see how my skin feels and also looks. Okay, I'm back brandishing a flannel I just found so I can gently wipe it off. I've noticed it's actually sunk into my skin quite a lot or it's gone quite fair. It's not like a mask that's gone like particularly hard but it has dried out like clay does, which is quite nice because 
when you wash it off it leaves your well normally it leaves your skin really smooth so let's wash it off with lukewarm water and this Ta-da! Does it look nice? Do you know what? My skin feels so clean after that. And actually, I suppose in the morning, it seems a bit weird putting a face mask on, but as it's only like for 10 minutes, it felt really easy, but very luxurious, like very like treating myself um, first thing in the morning, which I really, really like, really, really impressed with it. I've never really thought to do anything like that first thing in the morning. But anyway, my skin feels really soft, especially around here. Doesn't feel dry. So the next thing they say to use is the hydrating mist. Spray three bursts onto cleansed skin. So this has more than one use. Um, so I'm spraying it on my freshly cleansed skin, but you can also use it to prime your makeup, which is really cool. And you can use it throughout the day, I suppose, when you have makeup on anyway, and see how it goes. Everything's recyclable as well, by the way, which is really good. So shall we go? Don't you just get really nervous spraying things on your face? Hang on. Okay, go. I'm really nervous, don't know why. Oh my god, honestly. Wow, it's really like full on mist. This is like honestly tiny mist. It's kind of like spraying fog on your face, which actually I like. I like because it doesn't feel like it's attacking your face. It is very refreshing. And then the final stage to this easy skincare routine is to add your, well, put on your three-in-one rich moisturiser, which instantly brightens and nourishes your skin, as well, as well as preparing it for flawless makeup. So massage a pea-sized amount onto your dry face and your neck. Oh, <gasps> that's one big pea. Sorry, <laughs> maybe I don't know my own strength. I always moisturise my neck. I've noticed it's getting creases in there, which isn't ideal, but you know. Really? Wow. It's like a very creamy but not oily type of moisturiser. It goes on really easily. I can't even compare it to anything. Um, it just went on really easily. There was no kind of like topping up adding. I definitely could have added less on my hand and that would have been more than enough. But actually I'm quite happy with the amount I added just because I like to really thickly layer <laughs> moisturizer on my neck especially and around my T-zone. But I really like that moisturizer. Am I a bit brighter? Who knows, I am pregnant so <laughs> my skin isn't actually at its best. Thank you very much Glossy Box for sending those. I particularly like the exfoliating scrub. That felt very luxurious for a quick little face mask in the morning and it left my skin feeling really nice. So if you do want to get yourselves the Glossy Box skincare, just remember it's really ethical, economical. I've left my code here um, and you can also get yourself another added three-in-one moisturizer have a girls night when we're allowed anyway i'm going to grab my drink finish my drink and then we can put those bee bombs in and around the garden i will show you what i mean when i'm saying about the aldi bee bombs now we can go outside and plant them 15 bee things in each one i don't want to keep saying the bee O M B word just in case youtube thinks i'm up to something but um so it says you can sow seeds after last frost. I mean, we shouldn't be having any more frost, so fingers crossed, but we are in the UK. They start flowering from late spring, early summer onwards. Has been specifically chosen because they like most types of soil, which is good because Lawrence, what type of soil do we have? Clay soil, which isn't great, is it? Yeah, roots can rot in it, you're right. Um, I don't know if you heard that, but it doesn't drain very well, our soil, and it's very claggy, very heavy. But I do find that a lot of bee and butterfly friendly plants are very good in most soils. They don't need like perfect, beautiful soil. Whereas if you wanna grow something um, specific, like quite hard to grow, then you're gonna struggle. But generally bee and butterfly friendly things are um, really pretty weed type things where they can grow in any type of soil but they're beautiful they smell nice they're low maintenance and I just really believe 
they make the prettiest gardens in my opinion but I think they're gonna be really nice oh do we put them in the sun I'm going to put them in uh, areas where it gets quite a bit of sun just because I know they'll definitely do well there Better. do you like my 199 Aldi Crocs very stylish so this is the courtyard section of my garden which is um, just laid pavement I'm really loving this corner at the moment um, this is my dad's cherry tree which is now blooming which is so exciting I'm really happy about that I planted some dahlias down here in this pot um, petunias and there's going to be petunias in there no there's something else in there maybe lavender in this section this used to be our herb garden um, but we've actually changed it to some more vegetables because it's just compost so it's better soil but we've got broad beans here are they broad beans? Yeah, monge too around here. Some sweet peas here. So that's gonna look really nice. But let's go through to the actual garden. This is the garden garden. So we've got lots going on down here. Um, we have a big old garlic growing there actually. We have some primrose plants down here, which the cats keep digging up, which is very annoying. Um, some rosemary, lots of lavender. And so all along here, is um, a really good sun trap so we've got an azalea bush here just here from home bargains i picked up um a rose bush and we just started growing it and it's doing really really well underneath the bottles to keep them warm is um some morning glories the garden's looking great this section has got lots of shade friendly bulbs in there so that's all going to be really colorful in a few months Got some more seedlings that were from the egg carton in there and we've got a little black rose down here which follow this one follows me everywhere oh my gosh i haven't told you about this you see this hole in the ground you love it don't you this is a bee's nest so it's a really deep hole i never knew bees could live down inside the ground but they do and they've got another hole here which is an exit and they fly down there and come out here it's amazing um, so we try to be really careful around here. The cats leave it alone now, thank God. But they do like to watch it. The bees come in and out. Um, but it's just so interesting to see. Anyway, let's get these scattered. So this is the bee and butterfly section. All of my garden is bee and butterfly friendly, but this particular section is like the wildflower garden. There's so much in this mud that in come a few weeks' time, um, spring, summer, is going to be pure and utter color lavenders there's red hot fire poker things there's loads of wildflowers cornflowers marigolds what they're called nasturtiums which are really colorful petunias oh my gosh there's just so much thing is by the way all this green stuff i'm going to be picking up i think it looks really pretty it's called gypsy weed but i am going to be taking it out of the ground because it is getting a bit out of control but i do think it's really pretty um i'm going to put the bee bombs in now they're just sitting in the bird table which i need to fill up um, there's our hedgehog house hopefully we get a hedgehog this year during hibernation um, but yeah i'm gonna push them in the mud a little bit yesterday there was sun and there was rain beauty in the monday and as the light startled our eyes we let go of disguise bit chilly out here um i've taken loads of the weeds out the ground which they are overtaking that gypsy weed is overtaking the entire ground although it looks pretty i've removed loads the last thing i was going to do is this hedgehog planter here which my auntie got me i really love it but it had daffodils in which obviously aren't blooming anymore and i'm going to put some of the um leftover wild seeds in that hedgehog now just quickly so i'm going to carefully remove these daffodil bulbs save them for next year and then put some more flower in there and hopefully that'll look really pretty as well hand in hand building castles 
pencils out of sand, reaching for the grand. Remove all of these weeds. I need to put this all in the recycling. I have just um, watered the hedgehog, the seeds into the hedgehog, given this like a proper drown. Um, just because it was really, really dry, although it's a bit grey today, it's so windy where I am right now that um, things get dry really quickly. So that is for today's maintenance, I think. But yeah, I think it's looking good. It's going to look really, really nice. Probably going to end the video here now because. I need to go in and eat and then I've got some Zoom calls to attend to. But I really hope you enjoyed like the really mini garden tour. I will be doing like a full on garden tour and um, garden tips and things like that very, very soon. No progress today and it only really took 15 minutes. Do that once a day. It's going to look really good in the spring, summer. I hope you're all well. I love you very much and I'll see you again really, really soon. Bye.